So what's me thinks right is attorney. Well last time we did trial, this time we're back on the second day of the investigation, so you better be ready for one of the most boring videos ever. However, I switched up the way up because many of you complained that having a white background with Phoenix on it was not suitable enough background so there you are, the background is filled now. Everybody's happy, okay. So, December 25th. Okay, so my uh, oh yeah, she got arrested last time. So, hey Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day, okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you even do that anyway? I don't know. Why is the text unskippable in this game anyway? I know I'm not the way my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you should order to save the trial. Just behave for now, okay? Oh, okay. I kept the face cam. You're probably asking why. So, um, I'm filming this on the monitor, which is blue, so everything looks horribly discord. But in other news, I have the Ace Attorney mangas on the order. Um, I have the first one, so don't call me a weeb, okay? I haven't watched the lot online in at least six months. So anyway, questioning. This adds nothing to the thing, but I have to do it to get through things. Ooh, my flashing rainbow keyboard is keeping my sanity intact. Oh, and you wanted me to get bail on me. Um, you should have come here from the update video. Um, welcome if you come from that. Anyway, already a minute and 20 seconds of throwing other pictures, no, um, videos to, um, to try and move on the conversation. So, okay, so she can't get through to this stuff. Okay, I don't know what to do. I think I, I can't even skip these half the time. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, sure, you'll redeem yourself in the end of this case, Maya. I'm sure you will, you're freaking Maya. She's, I mean, no, we're gonna turn off thinking around, because that's totally not just pulling bullshit out your ass. Seriously. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah. I, I sort of like the new Maya that I have here, but yeah, anyway. Let's go to Criminal Affairs and Death. So, December 26th, why isn't this the, the final investigation? Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's other voice is sign saying it's the police collective boy. He's a live wire, that one got into a fight with the chief, not following, pro not following protocol. I really wouldn't help him build a case against her drug. <laughs> okay. So, let's go to the Goldo Lake. Hello. December 26th, Gold Lake Park entrance. And there are fewer people than there were yesterday at Fox's store on the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. As it remains completely silent and we head into the forest of Silent Hill, then all of a sudden a roadman comes out and... A roadman comes out and shanks us, like... The eerie thing is, is there's no music, and that's the suspenseful bit, like, I'm used to music in my game, but no. You, you hear it unedited or the, you know, anyway. I'm also in my normal recording attire, which is a white shirt. Like, I could literally green screen myself out. I could just get a white sheet and then do this, and I'd be a human floating head. So, I mean, yeah, so we're on the public beach now. I haven't seen Larry around today, or probably off paying through the nose on a date with a lovely Kian C. I think. Like, okay. Uh. I swear. This background looks different to how I remember it last episode. I'm, it might just be different, like, maybe the fact that I'm seeing everything in blue, thanks to my VJ cable messing up, but this background definitely seems different. Something that's not relevant to the plot, but Jesus, I, I expected it to be different for some strange reason. It's almost if I have a nervous twitch whenever one pixel is off. Maybe it's to reflect the time of day. Okay, so, hey, it's like to go shoot. Hey, pal, the trial today, you know. Yes, it's not about the trial. Scratch. Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did say it was I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you. You know. Uh, thanks. The baseline on this is really good, but let's talk about tomorrow's trial. I'll take the gum shoe. Any idea what trying to achieve on the is planning for tomorrow? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, are you said oh, right, something about that trial today? I am swiftly going to check some fun. There were two witnesses in the green text, which should be like orange or something. I was going to arrange who that was, the witness was. Uh, who was it? Uh, sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to allow Liberty to watch your information. Right, guess I'll just have to go stalk him. The, the, oh, right, I wanted to ask you something about Edward. What's up? With your voice cracks. Is he afraid of Earthquake? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, you see. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating the crime the way he does, and him becoming a lawyer. I mean, he needs to go to It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, yeah, that's what. Fifteen years ago. When the slowly slowly was finally shot before his very eyes. So it feels great now. You see it in his eyes. Mate, the... Mm -hmm. It's like a gumshoe spitting out a bunch of a lyrical genius. 
This is how you captivate a year 101. I want to talk to you my thing. Push is not out of there yet. Most strangers don't let her go as soon as they have the report written on them. Um, I don't know what I was saying for them in the courtroom today, so work for her. Seeing her friends worked out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I'll show the zero to it's worth it was so moved by so look trembling. Uh, really? My uh, cold device actually with my mouth is not wanting to cooperate. I'm really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm just gonna have to head back to the station. I'm gonna get a report on my own, get a run there as soon as I can. I just realized the head's bobbing. I was wondering how much is the hell going to be? Don't worry about that. Miss Rogers is posting the whole mouth. Hello, Edgeworth. Nice to see you over off the next for a change. He's grateful to have watched it. Oh, Red Pal. Oh, don't, don't pick on a rubber cake. Like, one thing I don't understand is that she's like, E-I, which is objection in Japanese, not a weeaboo. Um, and, um, like, it adds nothing because Phoenix just pulls bullshit out anyway. Like, he's like, gotta do the chance. Like, boy, boy, you're a A class lawyer. You've solved three cases. And the fifth one. You should be able to pull stuff out your ass easier than that. But don't worry, trials and tribulations will come around the <laughs> bridge for the turnabout. People are gonna incriminate me in the comments and be a fraud. I'll turn out to be a freaking Nazi. You, you, you know how much people love their freaking bridge to the turnabout. So, I wonder if Edgeworth. <laughs> oh, oh, Edgeworth is still amazing as usual. No, Phoenix. I can see. My mouth doesn't want to cooperate. It just sort of likes to slow. It's almost like I'm in the form of a stroke. Except it's not a stroke because those things are serious. This isn't serious. It's just me humiliating myself on the internet. Oh, what was like the boat rental shop is closed today, too. Now, hmm. <clears throat> we finished at El Park. Hmm. What do? I think there's only one thing that I could possibly do. And that's just randomly go through things until something occurs. Okay, hello detention center. Anything new? Oh, hello. Something new happened. Ah, accidents are working. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators are real mean. They're like, okay, what did you do this time? I don't like them sign a criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank you, Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that. I did absolutely nothing to advance the plot, but I'm still good character. I have to make it up to him. You have to win the case, Nick. No, 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 no. Is there anything new to talk about? Uh oh, oh, no, no, it's just regular old Maya, haha, <laughs> Maya being slimy, and then I bet, oh yay, ah, fresh air, I gotta say, freedom feels great, better behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay, <laughs> misbehaving to butcher up, it's not gonna be much fun if she refuses to pay your bail again, right, <laughs> I'll behave, oh dear, <laughs> and then, I'm not sure why I find that amusing, but it is Maya, okay? You can't judge me for liking every single line Maya says, and it's not creepy. Hmm, okay. So now Maya has with us speech 100. Maybe now we can get some intellectual insight. Have I just lost connection from Discord? I s oh, no, okay. So that was rhythm dying. Use your... My Discord is a weird place. Why the fuck are you playing wet sounds on loops? Join Discord link in description. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Mm. Hey y'all! Hey, it's a lot of... Y'all really did today. <laughs> what did we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. On this monitor, my sweater's blue, you might say. I didn't realize being a witness is my big responsibility. But I just went up there and started grabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lot of... So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up. Oh, give me money. No, making it up. Let's skip straight to the point. What? What do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I got an infant bit of information for you. What? Now, if I'm coming, I won't say nothing about it, but you can skip turn about succession without people wanting to kill you. <laughs> More information. Now we're getting to the part of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange, you know? The first was to make it up to us. Alright, I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information will come cheap, my friend. Uh, hey, I see you thinking, oh my, how sophisticated stone pops are. It's really not, oh. My second spelling error. The exclamation marks. What, outside of the speech marks? Oh my god, a slap on the wristbands, grammar Nazis time. Dispatch. Someone's gonna make a voice count of crack compilation as well, all the time that I'm freaking beats into 
of song. Okay, so three little old face. I'm telling how with most of these games are absolutely exceptional. Okay. What will it be? We got a deal or not? Oh, uh, well, what do we do next? Yeah, uh, uh, deal. Fine, it's like I feel a little bit fresher than it's going on. Deal, no deal. Richard Hammond than the red guillotine box. Completely out of your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? Well, Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then we're proof they show. Uh, I'll be keeping watching the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Alright, see y'all later. This is the. Th you thought the thing was like, okay, pulled in long, extreme bits, so going back. Nope, the imagine. That there's an orphanage and a bunch of children outside of it, and th there's a train heading towards the orphanage, which is the case. Um, so the train's like chugga chugga chugga, no, okay, chugga 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 Conroy, and it, and then th this part is the orphanage and ten children it just goes, Psh! everything's dead in the water. This is why I did not want to record this. Okay, Nick, let's go hunting. Hunting? You know, seriously, me. Gordy. Sure, I do. I'm on Edgeworth. What's so cheap for Gordy for Nick? Don't you get it? Okay. How is that we do such for a make believe monster? Woo! Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Oh, ho, ho, Edgeworth. If only. Mm, if only Edgeworth were here, I'm sure he'd be right. This would be right up his alley. Okay, anyway, let's go to Criminal Affairs because let's see if Scum Shoe appeared. Heck yeah, he has. Uh, at, least, at least it's a bit short. So we're back at police department. Who the pal? What's up? You look sort of that sort. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Miss Reginald's case again. What do you mean again? What a round you come. I'm here for you if you need anything. We'll find the money on <laughs> No. <laughs> so. With Scum Shoe, we can actually ask him about things, so. How's the investigation team? It's not really. We have a little meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Miss Reginald's motive. It's melted? I think it's also a smart guy to deal with sexism. And the country's got the one tool that can do something to go to his place. Now what happened? There's something that's why Mr. Rogers was shot at. Molly, you're not wrong. Okay, and then let's talk about that. I'll go drag that out and hit him with it for tomorrow soon. Poor oh, Edgeworth. I've got to admit, it doesn't look good, pal. I think Gordy was searching for a mythological creature, yay! Okay, say it's like the gum she did, Uncle Gordy. The monster down is good, like. Not personally, no. Oh, Edgeworth. Boy, boy, this guy is amazing. So, well, we're looking for him. Huh? You got any minds? <laughs> you got my monster party. How about you do a questioning for me then? Uh oh, oh. The sex of gum she was staring you, Nick. And then my, just, uh, then my mother comes home and makes a loud noise. I told Sex of gum she about to do a closet. Yeah, he tried down as soon as next time. Uh, sorry. At least we, we a break fourth wall in this game and none of us. So. I see, pal. So for shouting at you. Okay. I have to take him to a late just this recording. Huh? I want you one of our newest secret weapons to find together. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Secret weapon. How about instead of going to the actual episode fun? We should as well we don't need it. The truth is keep working the one. Missile. Missile? Straight out North Korea, pal. Still training. Missile, missile. Here boy. And then the missile hit Donald Trump in the White House and they died. Oh, you look a little boy on 3DS. Will you discount Doge? Hey, you! What? You You dog! You dog. Maya is literally mini candy for him. So, it's now. Woof! Next thing we're having number two the fishing pole. This is my own personal pole. Thanks to Gumshoe. We're looking for a monster. <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to control the team also with the fishing pole. Never thought you were sure about this is the last one. No, please. What do you have one wise choice? Speak of number three. I'm no detector. Here, the detective gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Wait, I was supposed to find it with a metal detector. Hey, you never know. Might be looking for soda cans. What would one be? As much as I want the doggo. Are you all going to speak me saying, Shut up, the doggo. It's hilarious. Shut up, the doggo. No, I'm going to step up for you, be responsible, compact, and use my in depth knowledge of this entire case. So, oh well, I suppose we can't tomorrow one of them. More of the metal detector. Can't worry about metal detector. What do you think, pal? I'm not sure we're gonna find with this. Remember, we're running for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Or a metal detector from the sector of the In case. Well, anyway. Woo! Let's go to where this thing needs to be used. I, I, I want to get through this section as much as you do, so this episode is short. 
and then, oh boy, it's gonna be short soon. Anyway, I should also note the fact. Oh, that's why it's different. I get it now. Okay. Oh, what's that? Then steal samurai, Nick. <laughs> my lips purple on the blue monitor. <laughs> Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Kianzi's idea. She was all like, if you find his hair, you die, it's really cool. She gave it to me along with the banner. <laughs> wow, that's really impressive that she can find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got free. Right. I forgot how to do Ayu's voice. Oh. Revelation. How about we don't talk to Larry? Because I forgot how to do his voice properly. And we go to the gold rental shop. Please be that witness. Oh, oh, something changed. Tis the boat moved one centimeter. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is close to good. But with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. I get it. I'm sorry. Not really. Nick, it's beeping. Did that move take this fast? Something. Wow! Okay, sure, I'll have so here. My hair has the worst it takes anything that happens. So. Story time while they discover evidence we can read. This morning in PE, I was running on the treadmill and I was looking at how fabulous my hair was, like most whenever I'm like running. But the issue is, is that when you're running, you are looking in the mirror, not where your feet are, and um, I stepped on the side, so my foot, so I kept running forward on this metal thing, and my other leg got worked back. So I was basically like, it was sort of like if I if I was to stand up. So um, this leg. Um, that was there, and then I just my my body went wow, and then uh, in a psycho movement I was alive. So why would Goldie be in the buses? It's like more while the metal takes to react to a sea monster. Oh, hmm. there's something wrapped around the set tank. It looks like a string of flags. Ah. Wow, it's heavy. Picked up by a tank of dubious value. Now, why have we seen that certain set of flags before? Because I don't I don't deal with your bullshit, worry. Here, take this, it's yours. What? Uh, an air tank? What about it? Larry, I want to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is this a tank of yours? Why would you have a thing like that? Look, does he have still a string of flags around the tank panels? It's just like the string of flags we're going to steal a samurai now. Ah, must be a coincidence. The string of flags is everywhere these days. Like, all men in these schools. Ah, uh, and use car wheel ships. Well, why would I need an air tank anyway? To inflate something. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make a joke. <laughs> you had to use to inflate that, didn't you? You inflate what? What else? A big puffy steel samurai. <laughs> now, why would you ask me a question like that? Was I hit the nail on the head? Right, right. Actually, um, see the compressor I always use on the fritz, so I tried using tank to inflate this one, and it did go through. As I suspect. Ask more about the tank. Gotta see if the tank was full of meth. It didn't go so well. But yeah. Do you think it would be a little more specific? Come on! Look, it's embarrassing to <laughs> we'll talk about it. Tell us, tell us! Fine, whatever. It's like I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill Seal Samurai up with that. And then. BLAM! And then I killed a man with a flying mouth. Made this incredible noise. Took how flight was a rocket. And the sort of steel samurai with it. What a thing to go like. Scared me off the ground, that's for sure. And I would. Should I make. I'm. End of the series cringy remix. Um, so the time in the steel samurai you were trying to flip the thought What happened next? Well, it happened on 20 or so. 20 a week ago. Now, as far as I like to see, it's saying we're flying out of the So I went out every night and I'm looking for it. I mean, Keanu gives me a steel samurai. Now when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew way out there, so we spoke all days to find it. The night before last. That was the night of the murder! Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. Uh, that mouth twitch was very suspicious, freaking apologist. This da 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 da. That's too bad. That's not all, man. We saw one mystery, at least. Mystery. Maybe we should go tell her. I'm going to deflate your dreams like that steel samurai was deflated. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm going to crush your dreams. I'm too confused. Hey, y'all. Well, you find anything about Gordy? Uh, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. Get corner here at night time. It's a little chilly. Hi. 
I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, no, you don't. No sneezing. Watch it! That's not like a Raven Rabbit. So if you put off by my edition of Joey's World Tour type sound effects, but welcome to the Mirror Rabbit channel. Nice to meet you. That's all, Joe. No sneezing. I see if the camera's responding to something than a bang. I trigger on one of Von Cora's finger stats now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry, I think it's like, eh, gay the lady. That's me this entire game. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, this is cool, me. Yeah, but I have to say, I know that was cool about that. It's painfully easy to know some things in the casual's interest. <laughs> Give them maybe have a breakdown. Goldie, well, I'm a sloy. Got the info, yo. I've got the info. You got a scoop on Goldie for me? Uh, of you don't exist. What a. There, there is no such thing as Goldie. What? How can you be such a. Really, Nick? You got some proof, Goldie, on this? The proof that Goldie doesn't exist is here. Of course I have proof. No way worth his bad for making a claim without the proof to back it up. Incoming justice for all. Here's the proof that Goldie doesn't exist, and this. The picture of Misty Faye. She was Gordy all along, and she's dead. <laughs> that case took a very long time. Take Black has gone from red to completely void black. Wang is that time. Why y'all don't that time? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? Oh, what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand there, here. A whole dog stand. This giant inflatable samurai dog there. About a week ago, an idiot came up to me, a friend of mine tried to fill it. He uses a tank when the mouth blew. Oh, the tank sucked into the lake. <laughs> it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. A goosh. A tank along with the soul plated samurai found the lake at the same time. Again. Giant life form appears in the lake. Hot news. It's a 2000 model equivalent of clickbait. I am proud. Okay, a couple of seconds, photograph of like this photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? <gasps> oh, that's a fine way to ruin the gal stream. I'm sorry, Alana. Now it's okay, you win. You're supposed to grab the monster by the time he sticks anyway. Poor Alana. Give me the case information, I don't care about your feelings. So, this information you have to tell us the promise is a promise, yes. I overheard the cops right here saying something about witnesses tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the old boat rental place up the path here. Well, rental? There's someone there. I mean, so is there. Just an old guy with my phone. You should go check it out. Thanks, Lava. We will. Let's get cracking. It took us a whole six minutes to solve this case. My camera clicked twice, you know. Woo! Wait, so you have a photo? Well, yeah, I'm spamming this. Nothing at all, just the lake. Give me the photo. It's going to be important knowing this game. Thank you. It's a picture of the lake. Bye now. You'll take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. And then she drove the SUV into the lake and died. The legend still lives on it. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. You've known all who know him at any other time. When something smells, it's usually the boats. Yeah. Someone should whip that blitz into shape. Oh, someone's got a cake. Oh, right, okay. No, you're not, you're not a steel samurai, you're not a little power, you're not my favourite case in this game, ah! Kidding, this is my favourite case. Clearly, I'm not making numerous mistakes in the countdown video, which I will have to rehash after playing Spirit of Justice. Hey Nick, this is the book shop, look what I was talking about. You're right, doesn't seem to be anywhere around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway, woo! Oh, Care Taker Shack Shack. This is December 26th, Care Taker Shack. Man, is that you? Hey, is that keep with you? Where have you to be? Not in Warsaw? Nay, you handless. I think I'll leave this one to you, Maya. Meg? Yes? Well, we made up your mind, have you? My mind? You're on the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? <laughs> glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When your kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place a brilliant and no man like me? Holly, the kids are home. Hello, hello, Spark. Hey, what was that? A parrot, the one on the perch. 
can. Yes. I leave the world noodle in your capable hands. And he <laughs> how many children are in that? <laughs> Why does the game do this to me? I don't know, but it's. <laughs> oh, so someone else is gonna make a video titled "All Narrowing Breakdowns in the First Phoenix Wright Game." Do we have another case to go through? <laughs> Regrets. We have the wet noodle in your capable hands. <laughs> What's the wet noodle? I'm basically even up with inside the city of this past show. That's a really physical point. Are you? He fell asleep. Yes, he's relieved. So, how's the work? I feel plenty of regrets. Anyway, I hate this transition. Sucky. Um, a pasta shop. Are you to think the one you will live on when I'm gone? I saw a star Nino makes you the third generation. Merk, yay. Tomorrow we'll start the secret of double tossing. Double tossing? You too, Keith. Yes. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler the West? Is it a pasta from Italy? Merk, yes. You know the best pasta has always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everyone knows. Nah. <laughs> How do we have to keep this all in the family tree? There's almost there's something on the moon. We're not leaving until we find what it is. No. Oh, the boat ran on the This is a What? I blow and then I get stuck. <coughs> oh, you expect me to have a little breakdown though. Hey, um, this is a boat rental ship, right? What are you talking about? This is a house of ass with the wet noodle. Well, now you mention it, we haven't got any oldies for spaghetti lately. Oh, the kids come up and say, yo, do you want to ride one of your boats? That's why I keep them boats out there. Young kids these days. Don't know why I understand it. I'm pretty confused myself. Hey, this isn't going anywhere. But this old man is with us tomorrow, right? We will find some way to get information out of him. Give me money! Maybe we can cross-examine Parrot. Parrot seems to speak more than this man. Wow, what an amazing man that is! Good morning! Hello! Hey, you know me! Ooh, I blow and then I give the suck! What, you forgot me? You gotta call a name first! Her name? Polly, how are you been? Hello, hello! See? Neat, so the back's name is Polly! Aha! We're gonna present the parrot, the parrot is the murder weapon. Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say lots of things! You just need to know what the secret words. The secret words? Maybe this is screeching to a hole, but whatever. I give the blow and then I give the suck. Alright, my memory's going worse with plates. There we go. Third time's jump hitting my foot. It's just important to tell everything old Polly here. Everything important. I wonder, Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, three! It's fun. Alright! Hey, you probably watch her, will you? <laughs> See it? All it takes is a little clever thing, eh? And the criminal mind. <laughs> Quick, they write up and up. You don't get me involved in all the high schemes. <laughs> right, okay. This is the real fleek heist in GTA 5. Look, a little safe. Hmm, it's not. Maybe, maybe he put the body in the van and then this old man will be framed for murder. Why is there- is that a gun? Fishing holds for- okay, it's, it's not a gun. Safety. Wow, he has a television in here too. Okay, nice. Is it, why is Marvin Grosberg sleep on? Look, I think he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. It's great, I wish you could have this because it all looks like a lot of gun moments. Oh, you're probably pooping there. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly! Nice, <laughs> found a new friend. Okay, so there's nothing left here. At least, maybe maybe we can present him something. Hello, sir, do you know this woman? I give the blood and then I give the suck. That wasn't here, do you remember that sure I called past we were talking about? Our rainbow call, we figured out the last quote we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? <laughs> that didn't seem to work the way. Look, right. Oh, wonderful. Okay, it's only 8 p.m., so I still have time to torch you all with this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Do you know anything about this pistol? <laughs> I can build anything. Wasn't it? No. No. 
Bird! Rainbow Brigoli, Daniel Brigoli, ah, ah, this game predicted it. Okay, hello, are you the mom in this photo? I give the blow, the blow, and then I give the sub. Listen here, Keith, R Rainbow Daniel Brigoli. Okay, there's literally nothing here, time to leave. I regret ever coming in this pasta shop. I do not want to know how dead children he's put into that fan. No, I ain't fan. <laughs> investigation like in terms of everything else so yeah what died um i think she shot herself or something with the camera anyway you don't need to say anything okay sure ha hang on a second what if now maya's out of the attention center edgeworth is there ah. see i am like the genius well it's like edgeworth so i'm question let's come back later i guess so oh you have to have my hopes up for like two brief seconds. Let's come back here. There's nothing here. Whoa. Let's go to Criminal Affairs. That. Hello, December 25th, 6th, Chris Department, Criminal Affairs. Hmm. Second Gumshoe isn't here. Now you mentioned it, he didn't say he had a meeting to. Ah, oh, that's right. Let's continue with you back. Where do we go? Hmm. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Instead of going to our own law offices, let's go to Grossberg's law offices. Please give plot development. 726, Grossberg Law Offices. Apparently, Mr. Grossberg was wrong occasionally. Well, I guess I can come back tomorrow if I need to. Um, how about I just steal the ashtray off his table? The table for clients. Hmm. Now, now I'll give Ebony Case when it's taken that light minute, so I'll go. Uh, oh, jeez. And what about hit this? Who, who, what is this? Sold mahogany gas. Wood be more to a deep loss. Greed, jealousy, power, less. Four of the many deadly sins. Yeah, I watched the content cop on um, Chain Chan. Anyway, there's nothing left for me to do. Um, unless I'm supposed to speak to Larry, which I don't want to do, but I'll do it for you. Suffering for you, always, now, Nick. So let's talk about Edgeworth. Yo, Nick, what happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in four, right? I don't know how good our prospect is from here on, though. Huh. Hey Larry, did you know it's a secret witness? He's terrified of earthquakes. Yeah, he's like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for you. He tries to school pretty quickly. You can hear me clicking. He's trying to do something. The deal six is happening. Yada yada yada, you know, freaking earthquake. He's a big samurai. What was that big thing with that before? Huh? Oh, the big guy? I've had that for about a month yet. It's a big hit with the kids. I was at the essay. Uh huh. Oh, oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Here, it's a little unit my hot dog set. That's what I used to put there in Steel Samurai. Go a little low, but I sent him for Paris. Oh, and I hear it, that you didn't get traded by yourself. So, we finished with Larry, and what did comes at 10? I'm not pointing up most of you sinned on the fact that I pulled up a walk here a few episodes ago. No, I didn't. Okay, stop that. How about we go to Caretaker's Shack? Sleeping, maybe, maybe we have time. How about? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's it gonna be? Let's present the power. I give the blow, and then we get the so I'm just here for the minute. We'll leave now. Oh, what's in the Give him out the triangle. Oh, uh, rain, Daniel Brigoli. Indigo, boy, we found this the way I expected it to. Let's just shoot myself with a pistol and end the game. So, a uh, pistol bullet, like. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. But the game wants me to assume that there's something here. It looks like, it looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, there's only that type who keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Okay, and then my repair was a ghost on the box screen or something. Okay. Oh, Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly. E Q. Okay, so. Yeah, see, she appears as a ghost. It's like pecking ghost. Oh, cool, safe. Hmm, mm -hmm. this locks. Enter the safe? Wait. So we finished in here, there's like, no mentally sane person that would ever do something like this. So, so we can sort of cut off the park. Is there anything we can present to Larry that I haven't done already? I was shooting with a pistol. We'll go on the pistol rampage and kill everyone we need. 
So the gold lake is like dead, so we, something should have triggered and changed. Now I've done like every single option there. So it falls right in the offices, same as usual. How about Ascension Center? Uh, everyone, nobody's here. And um, Criminal Affairs, debt. How about, how about we examine this? How about we cross examine you? We'll do a full C section. The chief of the second state. He's good to computer screen. Wow. Road to Bishop 7. Checkmate. Can't avoid it. Playing chess on the computer. I, I, I like those little Easter eggs where he's playing all the games. It's nice that they sort of made a few references. So there's nothing here. Just so, BRB while you indulge myself in a few quick and easy steps. So for those of you who don't know my special tactic, number one is to, um, if you ever want to do something, you ask the guy who answers and I'll link it on your Twitter. So we're going to ask people what we do at this exact moment in time. If, if, if. You see, sometimes, like, the official IGN people come in and they're like, wow. So basically, we just drag this thing and we drag it down because we post it in the whole walkthrough. They're like evil people as well. Anyway, um, no, we don't want to go there. So now, funsies, you can have things. Scroll down and see. Oh, there we are. Thank you. So percent power thing. Oh wait, no. So see, everything is difficult. It's all all weird things. So what are we doing? Nick deal. Da 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 da. See who needs tank anything to blow it. Okay, then talk the thing, talk, present, and then... Okay, right, so, of all the obscure choices, um... You may recall that, um, IGN is, like, really... The, they're the most useful web source ever. Um, from here to move sailing, I swear I did not move the water. And, um, so... He goes to the boat rent shop, and... See, this man does not know who Justice is, and we have to throw our fist of justice into his... Fun uh, This is gonna be some blackmail against me. Hello. Pop and suck. Yeah, a warrior's badge? Uh, yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Alright, good. Huh. Are you? I got you freaking out now. You're not Keith. Yeah, yeah. Now's our chance to clean things up. Um, so. No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We're here investigating murder that took place on the late middle of the night. Please help us. Hmm, oh boy, huh? Please, mister. Oh, right, right, yep. but I'm walking this What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. I want to pour my heart and soul into making sure people suck this man's wet noodle. I regret nothing in that sense. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? The video's gonna get age restricted. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's my boy. Go to you, Keith. Wait, didn't I just say? You too, mate. Yes? Yeah, <laughs> you bring it to draw my eye. Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Bowie. <laughs> Squad. Uh, now he's stuck into the boat again. What do we get so towards? So, boom. Now he gets to do things, so. I'm second. So he is engaged. Hostiles engaged. Do you know this woman? Man? Fell asleep. Zuh, 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 zuh. Pop. Murderous. Coward, maybe. Maybe, maybe he knows what done. Holy, here's my old friend. Well, this is not right, boy. Well, are you? So, I mean, we could shoot him with the gun and end the case. We only have the rest of the doesn't care. Edward will die as well. Mate, Zerva turned about sisters. Hurt me on the inside, fam. Thought we were family. Okay, so now we have achieved the wet noodle. Hey. So we've made children suck on his wet noodle. There's. I've just realised the amount of innuendos I've made from simply just having this episode be had. But I don't care. Anyway. So. Let's attempt to um present another thing to him. Maybe. I've just realized what if we present the lake for him? I go past seeing this. You know what's the answer? Keith. Yes? It's okay. You can call me dad. Dad, you know something about this? 
Are you? The open up. Oh, boy. Well, yes, yes. I know all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose since you're taking off the shop and all. And what you saw gave me information, ma'am. It was, I forget the time, and it was pretty dark as hell. Probably night. Are you? It was after midnight, but okay. I heard this bang, so I looked outside. I need another one. Bang! Splash! The amazing music kicked in of investigation called the thumbs up. All the while, the bug comes back. The young man walks by my window here. This morning, something's all fire. Well, what did he say? I'm from a demon. I I forgot. I remember tomorrow my court time box. We well, you know where we are that. You know what? Eh? Little Terry was just it. It's Terry? Ah, that kid next door. He wants you to make him cry, remember? He goes around his tattered old coat. Got himself some whisper on his face. What's he said to the detective, don't you? <laughs> he comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Oh, really? Somehow I don't think we're gonna get much useful information from this guy. I, uh, I think we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I have one more question. Holly, Holly, have we forgotten something? What? Don't forget the old sex! Ah. Oh. Well, did she just say it? One more time, Polly. Don't forget the old sex! Ah. What the feels? Hey, hey, mister, I, I mean, damn. This is, this is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird, Polly, know about the old sex? I have to figure out the man is wise in the transition. Oh. What? He, he locked the door from the other side. Look at that old man be. I think I need to all the noise. Six. Maybe we should have to take some bigger shit. Oh, you're right, boy. You're right, you should. Go to Lake Pubba Lake Beach. How did I complete this in one day without a walk? I'm all alone on my second time through. And yes, I played through this game two times. <laughs> so, I, I've, I've done, cheated on Slats Play in the middle of it, like on the way home. Anyway, let's go to Depp. Anyway, December 26th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. Hey, pal, what time is it? You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? Actually, we wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, you know. You're going to make right to the juicy cops. Remember that little rental shop down the road, like? Oh, yeah. The old man who wanted is appearing as a little spot tomorrow, right? <coughs> scratch, scratch. Well, how do you think? That was supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. He hasn't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I started first, he wasn't persuasive enough to send him to us for his witness. That's why we called Miss Lord Hard yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. That's suspicious. Hmm. <clears throat> the the and say, give me files. I need evidence. Detective, come you please help us. Huh? We need to know about the PL6 incident. I was one to with found that. I can't help but think I have something to do with this story case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about the tale of Texans alive. This morning was four grades of I'm reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you, right? What? Whatever. If you can convince me somehow that the tale of Texans is related to this case, well, I guess I consider opening the file. Oh. You wanna know about the DL6 incident? Boy, this parrot knows all. I told you parrot would be valuable. What's that, a parrot? The old man the boat ran the shop with this parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident? DL6. What? Mm, Someone's been breaking some by in like many different countries. Polly, Polly, you have we've gotten something? Don't no, forget DL6! Squawk. Huh? I'm pretty sure I love my little toy at that point. Yeah, but how did that old man know about the DL6? Wait, what if? What if that old man was connected to the DL6? Ah, I think that box, are we? Nick, you think it might be? Ah, Fletcher, someone can use information on the DL6. Though there was a station record room, I'll give you special permission to go and find what you need. Alright, way to go, the six is going to shoot. Okay, Nick, is it a record room? I guess it's time we face Edgeworth's past. Ooh, we get to go in here. I was questioning what happens in here. Because the freaking continuity of this case is all over the place, as many of you know, we go in here twice. Okay, so, Wackle's room. Wow! It's amazing! And really dusty. Ten years of fouls and ten years of dust, I guess. Let's find out the L6 so quick. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edward were nine years old. Almost true with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. Is it the L6? 
I don't know where the file is. No, oh, thanks. Just let me know you want to know about the DLC. I'll go get the right file. Okay, right. Um, we'll go with case or main refill. first. Just give me the whole file. But first I have to get a handle on main facts, like some. Right. Summary, summary. Found it. Here you go. It's December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day of So on Tuesdays, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? Same district court for holding a trial on now. It's like it. There was a large earthquake at 3 p.m. that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Whoa, were they using S shake before it was a meme? Wow, that was some earthquake. At the time, three people trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours? That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. Survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the passengers in the elevator. Victim data, let's go. We have the data of the victim? Edgeworth's father? Yeah, hold on, victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35 defense. If he was still alive, he'd be 50. Guessing he lost that day's case, come on, go with the elevator. So, Miles. Miles? Miles Edward, of course. So, he was on the elevator with his father. From the angle of the blow in the elevator, the represent could not have been a suicide. The court blew up and pistol was found in the elevator. Pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Huh, that's just like this current case. What's going on there? Now, it's like they Woo! Investigation almost over. Got you in day on the suspect in there? That won't be the guy I'm gonna get arrested. Hold oh, on, this is it. The man arrested the suspect in the L6 one, Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the corporate, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the LV. Well, then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent. Thanks to the defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond? The victim in our case? Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived, so much that he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. So after he was quite innocent, he disappeared. Hmm. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? He may be closer to who you think. Boom. Investigation over. I guess we know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? That's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? The L6 case file? Okay, fair enough. Okay, and we also got Edward's dead father, thanks for that. Right. That's where we all will be able to find him. Now all that's left is trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do that for any call. Woo! So we continued. Woo! We got another court segment and one more investigation segment, so if you don't like these episodes, don't worry, there's only one more. And thanks for watching guys, my sweet work and peace out.